Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the losses and efficiency of a DC generator. Subscribe this channel for more videos. The soft copy of this material available in the drive, the link is given in the description box. Now we will go to the topic. So first we will see the efficiency. The efficiency of DC machine is the ratio of the output to the input. So the DC machine is nothing but a, it can be act as either generator or motor. Both are same, construction wise there is no difference. So that is given as a DC machine. So the efficiency is nothing but output power divided by the input power. What is the power we are getting and what is the power given to the machine. So that ratio will give the efficiency. The whole amount of input energy to the DC machine is not available at the output. The input what is given to the DC machine not available at the output. Why? because of various losses takes place in the machine during the process of electromechanical energy conversion right the input given is not exactly available at the output in between some losses will occur right so that we can write input equal to output plus losses the input what we are giving so it is converted into output plus some of the losses by adding the output and losses we will get the input so what are the losses available in the DC machines? One is the copper loss because we are having the windings, copper windings are available. So the losses takes place in the copper, copper coil and the, we have the core is available, magnetic core is, iron core is there. So the loss available in the core is nothing but a iron loss or core loss or magnetic loss, right? The core is there and winding is there. The loss available in the winding is a copper loss. Loss available in the core is nothing but a core loss or iron loss or magnetic loss. Then we have mechanical losses also available. Due to friction and vintage, some losses will occur that is called a mechanical loss. Now we will go to the copper loss. So the copper loss means loss happened due to the copper coil. The loss takes place due to the current flowing through the winding is called a copper loss. The winding is available in, in the three different places, either armature copper loss. The winding is available in the armature and as well as field. The winding is available both in armature as well as field. So the loss occur in the armature is called a armature copper loss, IA square into RA. The loss available in the sun field copper is nothing but sun field copper loss, ISH square into RSH. The loss in the series field is called a series field copper loss, ISE into RS, ISE square into RS, right. So the copper available in both rotating part as well as stationary part, so that it is called a three different type, either armature copper loss or sun field copper loss or series field copper loss. Then we will go to the iron loss. So the iron loss is due to the loss in the core. That the, these losses include hysteresis losses and eddy current loss. There are due to the rotation of the iron core of the armature in the magnetic flux of the field pole. These losses are almost constant. The previous losses, this copper loss, when the current increases, the losses also increases. If the armature current increases, the losses will increase. So this depends upon the current. So that it is a variable loss. The current increase means the loss will also increase, but this is this is the constant loss, almost constant. This there is the, it will not change with respect to the current. Now we will see what is the hysteresis loss and eddy current loss. So hysteresis loss, this is due to the reversal reversal of magnetization of the armature core. Every portion of rotating core passes under n pole and s pole alternatively, thereby attaining N and S polarity respectively. The core undergoes one complete cycle of magnetic reversal after passing under one pair of pole. So in order to rotate we are creating N pole and S pole alternatively. The connection winding connections are given in such a way that it will create N pole next by S pole alternatively to create. So this reversal of magnetization due to the reversal of magnetization the losses occur that is called a hysteresis losses that is given by this B power 1.6 max F into V. F is the frequency 
and that V is the velocity. Right? So this is the formula for a hysteresis loss. Then we will go to the eddy current loss. When armature core rotates, it cuts the magnetic flux. The armature winding, actually armature winding should cut the magnetic flux, but armature windings are placed in the core. So, the core also cut the magnetic flux. So, due to that EMF is induced in the body of the core. Normally, what we need is the EMF should be induced in the armature winding, but armature winding is placed in the armature core. So, in that core also cut the magnetic flux and EMF also induced in the core which cause the current to circulate in the body of the core which is called a eddy current right the emf induced in the core of the core due to that current circulate that is called a eddy current the loss due to the flow of this current is called a eddy current loss it is k into b max square f square t square into v square right so this is the magnetic field intensity magnetic flux density frequency, thickness and velocity, right. So, these two losses due to magnetic reversal as well as the EMF induced in the core. Now, we will go to the third type mechanical loss. So, due to friction and vintage some losses will occur that is called a mechanical loss. Friction means due to the friction. Vintage is nothing but a the force between the rotor and air. Right. This is called a mechanical loss. So, this loss also almost constant, it will not vary with the current, right. So, that stray loss, we have one more term, the magnetic and mechanical losses together is called a stray loss, because these two are constant. Mechanical loss also constant, magnetic loss also constant. So, by adding these two is given the new name stray loss. Now, we will go to the next one. Further, we have constant loss and variable loss. Again, it is split into two major divisions. Constant loss. What is constant loss? The shunt and compound machine where the field winding is constant. The shunt field winding copper loss is also, also constant. If it is series field, mean that when the current increases, the losses will increase. But in the shunt field, the current is almost the same. The current will not increase, depends upon the load. So, the sand field copper loss also we can take it as a constant loss, right. So, already we have constant losses available, this is called a stray loss that is the sum of magnetic loss and mechanical loss. So, so the stray loss along with the sand field copper loss is called a constant loss or standing loss, right. So, the stray loss already we discussed the sum of mechanical and magnetic loss. If you add the sun field copper loss because it is also almost constant. By adding these two, we can take it as constant loss or standing loss. These losses are independent of the current. Then what about the variable loss? As the load increases, the armature current also increases, varies. The armature current is depends on the load. So, the armature copper loss vary with the load. Therefore, armature copper loss is called a variable loss, right. Either the armature winding or series field winding, when the load increases, armature current also increases, so that the losses also will increase, that is armature copper loss, right. So, the total loss is nothing but constant loss plus variable loss. The constant loss is there as WC, variable loss is IA square into RA, right. The, the loss due to the armature, armature winding. Sum of these two is the total loss, WC plus IA square into RA. So, in this video, we discuss about the efficiency. In that efficiency, losses is the very important thing. The losses also we discuss majorly three types, copper loss, iron loss and mechanical loss, right. Again, further we classified into constant loss and variable loss, right. Subscribe this channel for more videos. The link is available in the description box for other videos and the course material. Thank you.